Yeah. Good day. <laughs> Welcome back to our Sunday morning release. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you're all doing well. We be, should be starting to get into spring. And so that's always that's exciting. The yeah, <laughs> always exciting to be on this side of winter. So, yay! Can you pick one of these cards out for me? That one? Okay. Can I read it? Yeah. Thank you. So, for our saying of the week, thanks to Nate. There is in each of us so much goodness that if we could see it glow, it would light the world. Aww. Yeah. Sam like Friend. That. I don't know who Sam Friend is, but... Sounds like a friend. <laughs> but it sounds friendly to me. Sounds yeah. like he lights up the world. Well, and that's true. So we need to look for goodness in everybody. Yes. And we need to seek out our own goodness, too. That's exactly right. We're all that's what I was going to say. <laughs> And on the back it says, hand out flowers to people you pass on the street. How fun is that? Uh, wouldn't you love me walking down the street to just hand you a flower? Not me, but <laughs> I would be like, why am I getting this flower? Well, you know, and if they said just because, then I would be like, oh, okay. In some you. countries that I've been in, they've done that, and then they've asked my husband to pay for it. <laughs> I don't think that's what he has in mind. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think that's what he has in mind. <laughs> no. 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 All right. So what are we doing today? What are we talking about? What we showing? had the chat. We had out of the box. We were to do a quick sew pattern. Quick sew. So we did a quick sew pattern. Quick and sew. one thing I found out about quick sew is that it's not always quick. But it's, it's always a sewing project. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> May not be quick, but it is a sew. It is, yeah. It is a selling project with all yeah. these challenges. Yeah, and quick sew is um, no longer be, going to be made. So we'll show you something you really like and you want to make. Go get it. Go get the pattern now. So yeah, <laughs> see if you can find it. Else should be on the hump. Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even going to go there. No. So you want to show us what you made first. <laughs> I made something I have wanted to make. For a long time, and I bought this pattern, and I just haven't done it. And then a friend of mine was like, "I'm going to make slippers," and she bought the same pattern, and and um, she said, "Can you help me with it?" I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Which was wonderful. Hers turned out so cute, so beautiful. Hey, maybe I'll ask her if I can have permission to show. A couple of her pictures. Yeah, that would be she's nice. she's made two pair already. She's made two pair already. Yeah. Now that I've done one pair, I think I could do the second pair. But I had multiple challenges. Okay, so this is the pattern. Quick sew, 4383. There's the adult pattern in here and the children's pattern in here. And this is the final Ooh, result. Oh, they're cute. I love the fabrics. So... Yeah, this is just a cotton blend on the top, and then this is a fleece, a okay. scrap of fleece that I had. Oh, I love using scraps that way. I think I need to top stitch around here, which they did not have me do, because when I fold this under, it doesn't want to stay. You can see oh, it's okay. doing that. Mm -hmm. So that needs to be top stitch to hold that in place. Yeah. Oh, um, so and they get a little yeah. button here yeah. to hold it. And you actually mm -hmm. put elastic in oh. the back here to, to make it tight around your ankle, supposedly. Okay, thank you, sweetie. Take that. You can take it. Close. So what I did find is they said to put a quarter of an inch elastic in there was not quite enough. Oh. It wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't pull it tight enough. Tight. And I think this could have even pulled it tighter. I don't know. And I stretched it out. They had you stretch it and everything. Um... They look uh, warm. They are, yes, and I wanted them to be warm. And I like this kind to of go around my ankles because we live in an old house and it's drafty on the floor. And then I, I did my own sole, which is... She's got sole. Which is, um, actually, they told you to buy a sole that has those little glue dots oh, on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to spend the money doing that. So I'm like, what can I use? What can I use? Yeah. Well... What I used, Lo and behold, yes, is shelf lining. Shelf lining. That's what this is. Or you could even use like the the carpet that you put on the anti skid to go underneath the carpet. So mm -hmm. that's what I used. So I had it on hand. <laughs> this is a sole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
This is the, um, <laughs> this is, this was supposed to be part of the lining that was to go between the sole and, and the lining on the inside. <laughs> and I forgot to put it in here. So I just put it in there afterwards. Oh, so that's Nate could pull it out. <laughs> so Nate could pull it out and show y'all. Yeah, it's very good. But Nate. you know, after I, after I got it done, okay. I, I was like, you know what? It's not going to hurt anything, you know, just to put it in there like, <laughs> thank you. So there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Nate. <laughs> but um, there's a couple of things about this. Making slippers is not as easy as, as you would think. As I would, yeah, as I thought it would. I have this pattern, so I'm interested to hear. Okay. Now, for me, this was very challenged, and my friend who made hers, she had called me regarding this. And... I couldn't figure out what was going on, and it's still confusing to me. But I know how I will do it next time. Okay. They have you have fabric one, fabric two, fabric three. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? Which fabric is your lining? Which fabric? Which one is your inside? Which one is your outside? Because the the pieces are the same. The inside is exactly the same as the outside. And they go through use fabric one. For, I would rather have them say the outside fabric, the lining fabric, so I knew which was which. Okay, so maybe you have to make when you. I'm going to mark it all. Yes. You, as to what that's is nice what. Thing. You make yourself a key. Yes, because mm -hmm. it was very very confusing, and the the instructions are like that. It's it was very. Let me get it open here. It was very difficult to do. You know, they show you. You know, place batting to wrong side of booty and sole pieces based together close to outer edges, which is fine. But then you get down, take fabric one, you know. Yeah. Pins ends of loop to right side of fabric one. Well, what is fabric one? Which is it? Is it your lining? Is it your inside? Uh, what What are you doing with it? Uh, the pattern itself was not really hard to make it's just trying to figure out trying to understand because what what. it would be very easy to make one look one way and one look another way <laughs> it would be very easy to do that and another thing about this is they kind of sew up a little bit big and it's very difficult to figure out what size you need i, I wish they would have given it in measurements like medium is 11 inches from toe to heel or, you know, that type of thing would have made it much easier for the sizing. They do sew up big. My friend warned me that they did. So I made a medium. They give, they look large on you in the, in the reveal. Yeah. Yeah. They're comfy and they're warm, but they do sew up a little large. Well, let's see the real reveal. Can we? Or you've got more to say. Um, I, I did want to say that when they give the sizes, it's for male and female. Oh, that's why. Okay. So that's why. You know, so you need to keep so they're that going in mind. more towards the male than the female. Evidently, <laughs> evidently, yeah, yeah. So I do want to try it again, but I will downsize them, and I'm going to mark my keys so it's much easier for me to understand. <laughs> and actually, I did not go out and buy a batting. My friend, when she made her first pair, they said to bat, put batting on both sides of it. This is bulky enough. I only put one batting yeah. on one side. I didn't need all that batting. And this is a type of batting. This is not a quilting batting. This was a batting that um, I had gotten from my mom. Um, my mom, too. Your mom, too. Yeah. And um, it was a type of batting that they were all cut out in vests. We have a relative. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom's sister, which is our aunt, our aunt, lives down south. And there used to be years ago sewing factories down there. Right. And so these were to go inside the linings. They were like the pieces that went on the front and the back of the jackets. You got a bunch of them. Got a bunch of them. They laundered up wonderfully. They're nice and warm. It's very dense. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, good use of it. So, yeah. you know, I it's all scrap fabric. This is scrap fabric. Everything's scrap fabric. You know, and this is a, nice. a lining to, to shelf lining, so it's non-skid. So it really didn't cost me anything in the buttons I had. So Very nice. So, yeah, I'm going to do it again. Uh, so I'm going to say if anybody wants to do this, just be patient with it. Your first time around. Mark yourself. Mark your pattern pieces. What is what? Yeah. Mark fabric one. Is this my outside fabric? Is this my inside fabric? Because it doesn't tell hey. me. It says fabric one, fabric two, and fabric three. 
Nice. Yeah. So quick sew. It's it's a good pattern, but I do think there's a learning curve to it the first time. Hey. Um, and so, you know, make your first pair for you yeah. <laughs> or yeah. your kids. Somebody that doesn't really They'd make great it. little gifts, wouldn't they? They would. I, once you get it down, yeah. How long is it going to take to make one, though? Uh, if you ha had it done, if you had it done, you think take a couple hours? Yeah, yeah, a couple hours. Yeah. yeah, once you get it down, you'll get it. But, you know, trying to figure it out the first time was hard. It took me. They look cute with your bit. shirt, by the way, the blues and. <laughs> So let's watch the reveal. I did. Okay. See, yeah, they're cute. They do, do, do look a little big. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, like I said, you know, you might want to top stitch once you do the lining to the outside. So, when you turn it over, it stays where it's supposed to stay. And uh, just think about the thickness and the durability of the fabric and how warm you want it. And what you want on your bottom, on the bottom of your soles. This <laughs> oh. is great stuff because it washes great. Yeah. Nice. It goes through laundry. Nice. Great. So, yeah. There we Very go. Good. My quick sew. Now, what did you have? I used quick sew 3693, and I chose view B, which is a little jacket. Just a little throw over jacket. Um, so, I have a few things to say about my pattern also. Mm -hmm. With a quick sew pattern here. Um, this quick sew pattern on the instructions, it says, for view B, which is what I made, use pattern pieces one, two, three, four, and five. So um, if you, I'll show you a little bit closer. So it says use one, two, three, four, and five. But if you look over here in the key, view one is for, for uh, um, pattern one is for view A only. So you don't want to use view one for B. You want just two, three, four, and five. <laughs> so that's just a little heads up on, on that. Um, I do like it. I think it's cute. Um, I decided to use this fabric that I had gotten in a mystery box. Mm -hmm. It um, looks nice out of that. And I thought it would be fun because I could wear it with jeans and it's just a light little, mm -hmm. you know, jacket. Um, I probably should have made it in a little heavier fabric. I think it would lay a little bit nicer. In, in a heavier fabric. Mm -hmm. um, it did say to use sweatshirt fleece, French terry double knit jersey, and polar fleece. And yeah, so a little this, heavier. This is a little bit light for it. I will wear it. I think it'll be fun to, to wear around. Did you notice I matched my... You did an excellent job of matching your matched my stripes. stripes. Yeah. And so um, I think too I would have liked the hood if it was lined somehow. Because I'm not so sure I like all that sewing, showing. Yeah, and you could have, you know, you could have hidden that seam somewhere or done something. I could have. You could have. Different to it. Yeah. Yeah. So. But it's a cute pattern. I, I like it. I think it's a cute little jacket. I think in a heavier fabric it would be even more usable. Uh, it will be great for <laughs> the between seasons that we have. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So you want to see the reveal? I do, yes. Let me see. I do. Great. You do too. <laughs> Thank you.
All right. It looks very nice. Yes. You'll like it. You'll wear it. Yeah. 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 It's cute. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. Well, when you're done, I have one more thing to say about mine. Okay, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, just a reminder, 3693, it is a fun little jacket. And just a little side note that I just now noticed, and if I wouldn't have been trying so hard to figure this out, on the back it says, where it tells you all of the information, it says fabric one is the slippers. Fabric two is the lining. Oh, so it does have it on there. It does have it on the, the envelope. <laughs> on the envelope. Not on the sewing instructions anyway. You have to memorize the envelope. I guess. Mm -hmm. But usually once I pull those pattern pieces out of the envelope, mm -hmm. I'm like... I like to have my thing. envelope actually sitting up so I can see what it's supposed to look like when it's done. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing about this pattern, this is two, not just one thing. If you're going to use the pattern... For more than your size, if oh. you cut it out, it's done. So I took and just had some old typing paper that had stuff on the back that I didn't need anymore and made like that's my oh. soul. Okay. So I did the same thing with all of the parts. I just here's some it's, it's on writing paper. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you know, and I copied it pattern. and that way I could use it. And you know that's the marking. That's and, the medium size, and so yeah. then for the smaller size, so yeah. So, so that's a good idea. Yeah, because otherwise, once you cut it, it's done. Yeah. For that, you know. Yeah. You can only go down. You can't go back up. Yeah. So that was our quick sew challenge. Tell us what you think of what we made. Yes. Yes. And do try the slippers. Don't hold back, but just be aware that it's it's a little different just because it's a craft <laughs> item. And, you know. Hey, Nate, I know you're waving goodbye, but we need you to do something for us. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Remember our, our drawing box? Remember our drawing box? Let me get this out of here. Do you remember this name? What do you got to do for us? Uh, so our next project, one oh. of our projects coming up. What is it? Ooh, you're going to open it for us. going to open it up? Yeah. Oh, you want Mom to open it? Please. Ah! Oh, no. What is it? It says embellished. Oh, and you know what a success I was in my embellishment last time. All right, so this means that we can take anything that we make and embellish it, or if we wanted to embellish something that's already made to make it look different. Oh, so so, so it could be just something from like a, a sweatshirt or something, and you want to embellish it to make it. Oh, I don't like embellished sweatshirts, but anyway. So she will not be doing that. <laughs> But okay. I'm just saying, you know, yeah, give it me it's got to have something embellished on it. Okay, a button counts. It can be if it's not <laughs> part of the design. Part right? of the design. Yes. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this one works out. Yeah. So there is in each of us so much goodness that you can see it glow. <laughs> it would light the world. Uh, Sam Friend, I'll look him up and put a little note probably at the beginning of the video. Who he is besides our friend. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video. Have a good week. Enjoy. Subscribe, comment, forward, share. <laughs> that, oh, yeah. That's what share is. Forward, I thought. But anyway. Yes. Etc. 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 See you next week. Bye. Bye. -bye.